Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show. I'm The Big Llama, thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna be doing a movie reaction, and the movie we're gonna be watching tonight is called You Only Live Twice. Yes, we're back in the James Bond series. We're continuing our saga. Uh, we've done a lot of reactions, and now we've reached You've Only Lived Twice from 1967. That's what we're gonna watch tonight, so stick around, let's check it out. Uh, she ruckus. Dead beat. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody, welcome back to the Big Llama Show. I'm the Big Llama. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a movie reaction channel. On this channel, we get to react to movies for the very first time. Essentially, I get to watch the movies, give you my commentary as I'm watching the movie, and immediately following, I'll give you my full, unedited reaction, exactly what I'm thinking the moment the movie ends. No bullshit. Sort of disagreed with you. If you have not read the description or seen the thumbnail, we are going to be watching You Only Live Twice, the 1967 James Bond movie starring Sean Connery. Uh, we have watched the series. We've watched Dr. No, From Russia With Love, Goldfinger, and Thunderball. Now we're on You Only Live Twice. I don't know what that means. I don't know where he's going. I did I did see a clip, me uh, like, 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 a, like, a, like a preview. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. And I know that they're going into the Far East. So they're going to Tokyo. They're going into Japan. So that's interesting to me because now they're, they're, they're changing locations. Guys, if you like reactions like this, if you enjoy these types of reactions, please make sure to like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That's how you support the Big Llama Show. That's how we can do more and more reactions. So if you want to support the channel, that's how you do it. Guys, before we get started, as we always do, make sure you have some high quality H2O. Make sure you have some water for your viewing enjoyment. I tonight have some popcorn with me i can't wait to have some of that and some soda i'm excited i can't wait to get into it uh, i love watching movies watch a movie with me guys uh let's see what happens to james bond and you only live twice here we go all right let's get this started all right all right am i gonna do it again nah Oh, here we go, here we go. Doom. Oh, a little snazzier. Yeah, baby. Let's get this party started. It's like a satellite out in space. Okay, this is not a satellite, this is a spaceship. I want to go into space really bad, but like I am terrified to just go to be like let go. An unidentified object closing on you fast from a stern. I don't see anything. Oh shit! Oh no, no, get him back in, get him back in! Oh shit! This is pretty cool! No! Oh, they're gonna snip this guy! Oh. Right here, my nightmare. No! Jesus! That is my nightmare right there. You this is ground contact. control to Major Tom. <laughs> Can you hear me, Major Tom? Oh dear Lord, please make it stop. You know, it's funny, this is 1967, so this is before Star Wars or anything, so... Like, those effects are pretty, pretty decent. Any interference with this spaceship will be regarded as an act of war. Oh yeah, our man in Hong Kong is working on it. He's working on them ladies. Why do Chinese girls taste different from all other girls? Oh shit. You think we better, huh? Oh shit. Ling done set him up. Becky! Shaking the gun. That is a quick night for James. Oh, they set his ass up. Oh shit. You're too late. Well, at least he died on the job. Yes, he did. He died on the job. Oh, shit. Oh, what a way to start the movie. Oh, this is an interesting uh, entrance song. And Ian Fleming's You Only Live Twice. Donald Pleasance. Oh, title song is sung by Nancy Sinatra. Okay. Rob Dahl, is that, is that the writer of um, Willy Wonka? Yes! So pay 
I gotta look that up. I gotta say, this is a good song, but I'm not feeling it like I did Thunderball or Goldfinger. Not all of them are bangers, I guess. Alright, let's see. I'm assuming we are in Hong Kong. That's where we left off uh, James dying. British Naval Commander murdered. Oh, hell no. That is not the way I want to go. That is not the way I want to go. Oh, not more underwater sequences. Did we not learn our lesson from the last one? You guys are going awfully slow. Oh, damn. <laughs> Request permission to come aboard, sir. That's an elaborate ruse that could have killed him. <laughs> Money Penny! Hello, Penny. You'd better go right in. I love it that, that we're just oh, in a different down, Thank a, you, sir. a different scene or a different location, no, no, no. but the same setup. Okay, so it's not the Japanese starts. government. This it's some some uh, full scale war. Some foreign entity. English is not his first language. Only three weeks before the Americans launch the next one. You know that, don't you? This is good. Time hack. I love time hacks. If you've watched my reactions on channel, oh, by the way, you know I love when they the give girl? you specific times. I love you. Repeat it, please, to make sure you get it. <laughs> don't worry. I get it. Sayonara. Money Thanks. penny. You forget I took a first in Oriental languages at Cambridge. Oh, shit. I don't need your little book. I went to Cambridge, bitches. And I learned Asian languages. Oh, hell to the no. Ah. It just fires us out. I find the, the life of a spy fascinating. You just gotta get dumped in a location and you gotta figure it, figure out what to do. Welcome to Tokyo. Like Times Square, only Tokyo. Um, due to my large frame and weight, I'll never do a rickshaw because I'm embarrassed. I'm about to turn on my subtitles pretty ah. soon. Don Marigato. Ah. Don Marigato, Mr. Roboto. More Roboto, Mr. Roboto. I thank you. Now, I am probably big enough to try sumo wrestling. I don't know that I'm strong enough. Well, maybe I am strong enough. Yeah, I don't know that I'd want to wear a G string people to see my ass but I think I would try sumo wrestling the big llama is built like a sumo I'm not afraid to admit it check out my cheeks check out my cheeks blum where your friend is waiting Mr. Henderson oh green screen driving Mr. Henderson's waiting for you you're not coming in with me? Mr. Henderson would like to see you alone. <laughs> That's right, we don't trust nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you. Although a large Japanese industrial concern, it. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh! That was stealthy. Bond is not fucking around. This dude right here knows what to do. James Bond, you devil, you. There you go, old Sato Chemicals. Good evening. Oh, shit. This guy's like half sumo. Oh man. Oh my god, that is High Chief Peter Maivia. That is High Chief Peter Maivia. That is The Rock's grandfather. Holy shit. Damn. This is a big man. I remember. Oh shit. Damn, he could take a bump for sure. I remember seeing an episode of uh, Young Rock and they mentioned that he was in it. And now I see it. So, yeah, that's High Chief Peter Maivia. That's fucking awesome. Need a little drink after that, huh? Cheers. Cheers to the chief, baby. Ew, what kind of shit is that? Siamese vodka. <laughs> oh, damn. Ooh, 
just firing randomly. I like those those dapper shoes, man. They look badass. Get in, quick. Let's go, let's go. This time I'm taking you. I want some information I want it now. Why is she running? Oh man. It's a setup, dude. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. It is a great pleasure to meet you at last. <laughs> if you're Tanaka. Tanaka. How do you feel about me? I love you. I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> nice. That's a nice setup right there. I thought for sure this guy was another villain. They're sitting awfully close to me watching a movie together. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello, ladies. Mr. Bond in uh, full... My friend, full robage. First civilized bath. Do in Japan. Men always come first. Women come second. I might just retire to here. Or sometimes not at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. We have our sources, Bond son. Just like you. I love that he's calling him Bond son. Soap my eye, will you? Why would a foreign power want to launch missiles from Japan? Because if ever they were discovered, they could deny all responsibility. Who is big enough? Spectre. Could be. Spectre. No. Good choice. She's very sexyful. She's very sexyful? I think I will enjoy very much serving under you. She's going to be serving under him? Yes, baby. Man, Bond is the straight up G. Straight up G ladies man. Oh, man with a scar on his face. Sketch. This dude is a straight up gangster right here. Arriving in style. That's how you would make an entrance in a meeting. Very honorable death, all the same. Very. Oh, is he looking he at his face with the company? Cigars are very bad for your chest. Mr. <laughs> so are bullets, my guy. Get him. Oh shit. Got the order. Kill this man. What are we waiting for? Get down! That's twice. That's twice you saved your life. Blah blah! Oh shit, we got a helicopter and a car chase, so this is a Fast and Furious? But what's real is family. No way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> the dudes is gonna die. Good night, bitches. Blam. You're all dead. Oh shit, oh shit. We got we got troubles. We got troubles ahead. Damn, point blank you shot that dude. Listen, she is badass. She is, she is holding her own with James Bond. This is a pretty cool long take right here. You get a knife? Did they get a, a, a blade? A sword? Oh, that's smart. That's genius. Oh, shit. Caught you slipping, bitch. Well, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Who are you working for? Empire Chemicals. You oh, shit. Instruments of torture. Do you know what this is? I'd rather not. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> James, you're about to be killed, and this I is what this is you. To make. The Take things me. I do for England. The, th <laughs> the things you do for England, my guy. I'm awfully sorry to leave you. Oh but I have to shit! Get out. Oh, she set his ass up. Oh no! Ugh. Effective landing. Oh, 
All that jet fuel. I had a long and tiring journey, probably to no purpose. And I'm in no mood for your juvenile <laughs> quips. Oh, shit. No, it's certainly not a toy. You'll see. <laughs> We've made one or two improvements since you used her last. Two machine guns, fixed. Synchronized to what? A hundred yards. We're using incendiaries and high explosives. Jesus, Bond, son. Be careful, my guy. Is this shit real? Uh, how are we going to dispatch of this? I go heat sinking missiles. Look at the flamethrower back there. Flamethrower, go. Flame on, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got some air, some dog fighting right here. Oh, the air mine. Holy shit, what did he drop? There's like a ton of them. Fire the rockets, baby. Woo! There it's an air missile. Turn that back one around. Little Nelly got a hot reception. Four big shots made improper advances towards her. <laughs> but she defended her honor with great success. Heading for home. Four of them Welcome made home, improper Portland. advances. Russian they touched her without her consent. Proceed, your <laughs> degrees and await it is a hollowed out volcano layer. Oh, shit. I mean, what a fun time to go to the movies. To see science fiction and spy thrillers. The first time you're seeing this in 1967, you're fucking, you're fucking blown away. Let's oh, go, shit. Spaceship. Dr. Evil. The true villain is revealing himself an hour and five minutes into this movie. I may send for you later. That voice is unmistakable. That is Donald Pleasance. So imaginative, this world. They can oh Superman shit, he's got piranhas? 30 seconds. Piranhas terrified me as a youth. I have decided to ask for a little money in advance. I want this sum of a hundred million dollars in gold bullion. One hundred billion dollars! <laughs> so Sato was working for... Blofeld. You should have killed him yourself. Oh shit. Had plenty of opportunity. This organization does not tolerate failure. I know, oh shit. Go. <laughs> oh shit. Damn! They did her dirty! Good lord! No, I thought number 11 was gonna make it. At least to the end. She is fish food. Honestly, a beautiful set of locations. Ninjas. Oh Talk shit! We got ninjas this in this bitch! Ah! Ninjas? Yeah. Out of concealment and surprise, Bonsan. Some badass, badass dudes right here. Jesus. What? Here's but a scratch. A scratch? Your arms off. Damn. Yeah, I want this guy on my team. I draft him, number one draft pick. We'll see some modern ninjas. Rocket guns. Very powerful. See the rocket the guns? The jet propulsion. It's a fine gun. Shit! Kill it up to 30 yards. Yo! Pass that shit! Very neat. It can save your life, this cigarette. Is she pretty? <laughs> she has a face like a pig. Oh the shit! Bad idea. But first, you must become Japanese. Really? Is that necessary? How's he gonna become Japanese? Oh, please, no. I oh, no. Send you. They seriously have given him makeup to make him Japanese. Rumbawa. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a terrible fucking idea. Hairpiece. Dear God. No shit. This dude right here. Ninja assassin. This was me sneaking around my house as a child. Try to get to the refrigerator without my parents seeing me going for another cookie. Oh! Close your mouth, bud. Close your mouth. Ugh. Oh, there you go. Turns his head. No! 
not the girl. Oh no. Got him. But now it's too late. No. Oh, that's that instant death. Damn. Oh, hell no. Oh! Oh, shit. Real. Not just a training exercise anymore. That her? Because if that's what you think a pig looks like, dude. The description is horrific. It's interesting. I wonder if, I wonder if this is like a real ceremony if they just made this stuff up for the movie. I was kind of interested when they use like real life inspiration. I'm sure it probably is, but I don't know. Hit me up in the comments, let me know. I'm assuming that this is a set now. Like a like a backlot set. Gas, get over the side. Quick. At this point in the movie, they're spending way too much time setting up the the entrance to the to the place. Um like just unnecessarily long times. It's in James Bond's contract. He gets to score with three chicks every time. Every movie is about three of them. It's going down into the volcano. It's pretty fucking the genius. Over. Come on. It's actually pretty neat. Pretty neat effect. This is it, gentlemen. All we can do now is wait and pray. Maybe not. Oh shit. It's metal. Oh shit. Oh shit. Emergency crews to stations. Oh man, it's got them them suction cup knee knee band or knee braces. That spy shit that I think is so interesting. Can you give us a time hack? Roger. Give me a time hack, baby. Alright, so James snuck in. He's riding a little monorail. The people mover. T minus 100 minutes. It's a bit excessive for a countdown. Oh, these astronauts came to, he came to fight, baby. No, no. Oh, they got her. Come on now. First of all, it is dark. I am not swimming in that freaking water. Got another thing coming. Astronauts to launching pad. Astronauts to launching pad. Now, one of these astronauts walks with just a lot more swagger. Hey, you know that that's James Bond, baby. Stop that astronaut. Bring him to me. Stop oh. that astronaut. Pad. Oh, shit. He figured it out. He figured out just by the movements. Allow me to introduce myself. There we go. I am Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Blofeld. They told me you were assassinated in Hong Kong. You only live twice. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. Name of the movie drop right there. When they say the title of a movie in the movie. Move his suit and search him. Reserve astronaut ready on bird Damn. Lofeld is just enjoying this too much. Look at him. Stroking this kitty. Nothing wrong with stroking the kitty. Stroke him good. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh shit. Nine, the timer. Eight, seven, oh. Six, oh. Five, four, no. Three. Oh no, they're sending him. Oh shit, he's got the cavalry. That's right, the ninjas. Blow them up as soon as they have captured the Americans. Here's the key. Crater guns fire. Crater guns open fire. Crater guns. Oh shit. Come on, my ninja friends. Oh man, you're gonna get slaughtered. There we go. So we open up the hatch for the uh, the guys to get in. Close the shutters. Uh oh. Come on, Tiger. Tiger's been the MVP of this of this movie. Everybody's coming in. We are now impregnable. Oh oh. Our number one draft pick, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, impregnable my ass. Wait, that didn't come out right. Tiger is doing all the work. 
He is the Seven MVP. Yeah. Uh, James Bond is just watching in the office. This is the price of failure, Mr. Bond. Oh, shit. Osaka. Come on. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Oh, shit. So how do we stop this? How do we stop that, that thing from eating the other ship? You gotta face big boy. Hope you recall your ninja training. This is a big man. Conventional methods are not going to work. Oh, this is a trap door. Is that trap door? No! Oh no! Bon appetit. There we go. One liner. Very reserved. Bon appetit. Let's go. Let's go, James. Let's go. Nice. Nice. The enemy. I repeat. The enemy is blown up. Oh no. Self destruct has been activated. Get out of there. No. Oh, that's a total dummy right there. The miniature set. Oh, the CG on that. Ugh. Holy shit. Oh, that's CG. That's okay. That's okay. There you go, James. James always gets his girl in the end. Oh no, Money Penny's gonna see him. see his girl. Money Penny's gonna be devastated. The end of You Only Live Twice. But James Bond will be back on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Okay, that's not, that's the next film. All right, so there we have my reaction to uh, You Only Live Twice, the 1967 James Bond film starring Sean Connery. Uh, I have some thoughts. This is an interesting one, um, definitely more serious. Um, let's talk about it. Let's break it down. All right, so that's my reaction to the James Bond film uh, You Only Live Twice, the 1967 film. I have now seen it starring Sean Connery. Uh, a couple of thoughts, a couple of thoughts. Number one, this one got a little bit more serious. It it did not necessarily follow the cheekiness of the first couple of films that we've watched, um, which I didn't mind. I didn't mind. The tone was definitely a little bit more serious. Um, there wasn't as many one-liners from James Bond. He wasn't more, he wasn't a caricature. He was really kind of getting into the spy business. I mean, that's what you want from your spies to be a spy. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Um, there wasn't over the top, um, you know, gadgetry, um, the, the, it just seemed a little more grounded, which, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed that tremendously. Um, I think that, that helped the film, um, because it, it kept the same tone. Like what happened with Thunderball is that it went up and down and some of the other films, the tone was a little bit weird, but it was more cartoony. This one, again, a little bit more grounded. Now. Obviously, this is 1967. The CGI and effects are, are still primitive at this point. A lot of green screen action. Um, but I think the previous installments did it better. This one, I think it suffered from trying to do a couple of things uh, with the green screen effects. And, and, and it was just kind of, it didn't age well. But other than that, other than that, I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's horrific. I'm just saying the, the previous installments did it a little bit better. Um, Sean Connery has never been better. I think he did an excellent job in this. Tyga, the guy who worked with him, I think is the MVP of this movie. Um, he basically had the, 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 you know, the army of ninjas. Um, they had some training. Uh, problematic, um, Sean Connery, you know, turning into a Japanese man, uh, giving him the wig and the, and the eye makeup and all that stuff is, it just was unnecessary. Might not be the best choice for you. I I think even unnecessary for the story, to be honest, um, and, and it just kind—it just kind of was silly. Um, Blofeld, uh, Donald Pre Pleasance. You could have used him. He is a—he's a great actor, more menacing actor. Uh, I like the way he played the villain, um, but it was—it was honestly um, not enough screen time for him. I think I, I would have loved for him to have more interaction with Bond and maybe more. Uh, I mean, it was an hour into the film before we actually got the reveal of who he was. Um, and that, that to me, again, it's always good they, they serve that up. 
uh, later in the film because you don't want to focus on him. But Donald Pleasance could have been, you know, with more screen time. Uh, overall, I guess, I guess, um, I think, I think this is now heading in a more serious direction. So the the fun, playful cheekiness of the first, you know, couple of films um, seems to start, be, you know, going away. I believe uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is the next one, um, I believe Sean Connery is not in it, uh, from my understanding. I think it's uh, Lazenby at that point. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see a different Bond in the next film. Um, okay, if I'm going to rate the film, um, I'm going to give it probably a, th a three and a half um, out of five. Um Again, the tone is shifting. It got better in terms, but but I'm going from a very cartoony James Bond to a little bit more serious. Um, there were just some lingering shots and things that did kind of make the movie a little bit longer. Um, and again, a little unnecessary. There's some sequences. If you cut it out, could have been a more better paced movie. English is not his first language. <laughs> But still, still enjoying the Gentleman Spy. Still enjoying this series. Uh, I am, I am definitely in. You know, ready for the next film. Uh, remember, guys, I'm gonna do this reaction. I'm gonna do these reactions all the way through the Daniel Craig Bond films. So we've got a journey ahead of us for for quite some time, uh, and I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So, guys, join me on this journey, guys. If you like this reaction, if you like reactions like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the, sm you know, smash the like button. Uh, that's how you show appreciation and definitely 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 subscribe to the channel if you like this if you made it this far you like this video because i couldn't see you watching this for 20 30 plus minutes and getting to this point and not liking the video so please make sure you smash that like and subscribe uh again thank you so much thank you so much for joining me on this reaction uh, again we're going to do more reactions to james bond films and other types of films i can't wait to it guys i am a lover of movies the reason i do this channel the reason that i do these reactions is because i love cinema i love movies and i love sharing my thoughts and sharing the love of movies with you so do you love movies because i love movies join me on this journey i'm the big llama this is the big llama show guys and remember be kind rewind it's movie night and we're going to see you on the next one Off, I don't care what you people say, never follow